Hi everyone, it's Arthur at Arthur Ease Your Mind here on YouTube and ArthurEaseYourMind.com. I'm an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. And as I start every show, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the subscribers, for the likes, the shares, the wonderful comments, and the welcoming community that you are. Thank you. So it's been a crazy week. We just got out of Mercury Retrograde. Hey, isn't that wonderful? Now we're getting to a moon, new moon. But hopefully things will get a little bit easier for all of us. Because as you know, Mercury Retrograde, I feel this one kicked everybody's butt. So anyway, moving on. So the first thing I want to talk about is this guy named Hunter Biden. I don't know if you heard of him or not, but oh my God, the poor guy. Would they have put him through just because they don't like his dad and they're using him as a wedge? Well, let me tell you, he's fighting back. He's sitting back and he's going to win big time. Oh yeah, he's going to win because he just filed a lawsuit on Wednesday against Garrett Ziegler, a former aide to Trump who happened to be a trade advisor for Peter Navarro. Hmm. And he's filed a lawsuit for violating computer, California computer fraud and data access laws. He says in the lawsuit that the data appeared to have been manipulated both before and after Ziegler obtained it. And suing him under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, as well as California's Comprehensive Computer Data Access and Fraud Act. Under that law, people can sue others who harm them by accessing their computers or data without permission. Yay. He's with a very powerful law group now. At the same time, apparently there's an indictment for a gun charge. But I see that as going away. Number one, he had an agreement with the DOJ and then the judge reneged on it, causing all this to happen. So once you sign a contract with the DOJ, it's supposed to you know, it's, it's good as gold. However, they're doing what they do to muck things up. But people, the law that he's supposedly broke, why aren't the GOP yelling Second Amendment rights? Just saying. I feel it's, he may pay a fine. That's it. Go away. He already paid the back taxes, you know, everything else. And let's face it, he did have some issues. He's mentioned it. He's been vocal about it. He's gone to rehab. And they're just kicking him and kicking him and kicking him, hoping he starts using again just to get to his father. These are such wonderful, good Christians, aren't they? I don't know what Bible they read. At the same time, got a couple questions from Marianne. Will Hunter Biden sue Margie Three Toes, MTG, my tragic girlfriend, a.k.a. Little Clovenhoves? And Rose Blue wrote, will MTG get charged with distribution of porn for sending pics of Hunter to her Georgia voters? It's a state and federal crime. Revenge porn. Yes. And I feel Hunter Biden has her name on his list. He doesn't need to check it twice. Because he knows she's naughty and not nice. And again, the first sign of going insane is you start rhyming. So anyway, I really feel that she's in deep doo-doo. And I don't know how she'll be able to talk her way out of that one. I mean... I always thought it was Georgia peach, but with her, it seems like it's impeachment because as we know, she's been very vocal about that, trying to impeach Joe Biden. So here's a question from Gladys. Hi, Arthur. How far will the 
impeachment go with Biden? Also, will these people in Congress ever pay for all these nasty stuff that they are doing? I know according to the last impeachment, there is supposed to be rules in place. These nitwits have done nothing. Oh, yes, I love the shows. Setting bright light and blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Back at you tenfold. I love the fact that you used the word nitwit. I haven't heard that in a long time. Um, there are nitwits. It's not going to go anywhere. I'm telling you. He didn't, McCarthy didn't bring it to the, for a vote because he didn't have the votes. So he's trying to do what he's doing and try and like please people with it. It ain't going to happen. And then Angelic Alchemy asks him in the same vein um, regarding the Biden impeachment plan, which is actually Trump's. Will this further fracture the GOP and cause non mega GOP congressional members to cross the aisle and join forces with the Dems to get things done to help American people? In a perfect world, yes. But unfortunately, not in this world. They may be repulsed by it, but not really talking. There's only one person that's talking out about it. Well, two including Romney, who everyone's like, oh, Romney. He's the one that started Benghazi. So I don't give him a free pass. So in the meantime, it's still splintered. But until the spineless jellyfish Sorry, spineless jellyfish. I'm not giving you a bad name. Until these people get a spine and speak up, entertainment purposes only. But until they speak up, nothing's going to get done. So what we have to do is we have to speak up. And how can we speak up? What are my three favorite words? Vote, vote, vote. That's right. Vote, vote vote you can do it by mail now at least depending on what state you're in so i would love to see him splintered but you need a spine to do that and unfortunately these people don't have it martha spillman will mccarthy retain his speaker position for the rest of this year and nancy Hi, Polish twin. Yakshi Pani Ma. Will Kevin McCarthy stay Speaker of the House for long? It only takes one Republican to vote him out. Well, did you see what he said to Matt Gates? He basically said, "Dare I dare you. I dare you. I mean, these people, this is a clown car that they don't realize they've already gone off the cliff. You know, they think they're the road, road runner, like gone off the cliff and then still standing in midair. Mm-mm. They'd be falling down. So, one of my favorite topics now, Orange Crush. Will the Orange Menace from Sunny Sunny Vibes, will the Orange Menace ever be jailed for all the threats, etc., that he has warned not to do? Is Chuckkin afraid of him? Excuse me? Um, She's not afraid of him. It's the other way around. And listen, before I started taping, I did hear that Jack Smith filed a motion to basically get Trump to shut up. That he can't be going after prosecutors and all these other people that he's been doing and, and trying to poison the jury pool. Now, I don't know. I didn't read it yet. I don't have the full report but hey jack it's gonna come look it's gonna come back and bite trump in his big hiney and we know it's maybe the hiney itself is 215 pounds i don't know foxy proxy will there ever be any liens put on trump's properties so he can't sell them to get the money since he owes so much to e Jean carroll and his other court penalties. Well, 
when I meditated on this this morning, I got a yes on it. To what extent? I'm not sure. But I keep on getting his funds are going to be drying up. And I feel that has to do with Jack Smith and DC and going after wire fraud. Bilking people out of their five, ten dollars so that he can pay for his lawyers. The guy's a billionaire. What are you giving him money for? Veronica. When will Americans finally come to their senses? This Trump MAGA is just draining. Will it end? Sweetheart, it will end. It will end. I always say this is like, this too shall pass. It may seem like a kidney stone, but it's going to pass. It may take two or three years, but this is one big boil that has to be lanced and all the goo has to be taken out. But it will be happening. Okay. New Hampshire Mountain Dancer or NH Mountain Dancer. Will there be an investigation of Jared Kushner and the princess? What do you think? They're going after Hunter Biden and Jared Kushner walks around with $2 billion and then makes $25 million a year to oversee the fund that he got the $2 billion for? Yeah. Believe me, Jamie Raskin's on this one. Number one. Number two, I've always said from day one, the realm, the powers that be, the spirits, the, the guides, upstairs, whatever you want to call it, they know what he's done. You can't walk away and not be punished for what he's done with Khashoggi. That's karma. And as far as the princess, well, I'm telling you, she already like flipped like a a flapjack on her daddy. So she may skirt away from some of this unscathed. Because she's turned everything over. I think she's going to be working for IHOP now. She'll be their spokesperson. Hope not. Anyway. So. But in the meantime, Veronica. Hang in there. Seriously. We'll get through this. Peggy Ming T. What did Putin promise Kim Jong-un and vice versa? And will either keep his promise? It's like a den of thieves. Isn't it nice to know that the man that Trump loves and would send love letters to is now cozying up to Putin? It sounds like a really bad rom-com with a three-way or a triangle love story. I just threw up in my mouth thinking about that. Anyway. It was, it's a, it's a photo op. Yeah. You know, Putin has been promised weapons, ammunition, and all that from North Korea. In the meantime, by sitting next to Putin, Kim Jong-un thinks he's like, He's raising his, you know, his bragging rights. That he's now a powerful nation. He's a dictator who kills his family members. Please. No. It's tragic. This is this, this is a tragedy that William Shakespeare couldn't even written about. They're all going to get their, they're all getting done in the end. So, and I've said this once, I'll say it again. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I don't think Putin's going to be here by April 1st. So, and that's not an April Fool's joke either. So time will tell. Linda Walker. So glad you're doing a YouTube show. No, well, I'm glad you're watching. What happened to the plane that killed Congresswoman 
Mary Paletta's husband in Alaska. It wasn't a Putin job. It was an accident. When I meditate on this, there's some type of error that'll come out and we'll know within a month. It's tragic. But I do not get foul play. Okay. Delta Dawn flower. Elon Musk gets millions from the U.S. in government contracts for his satellites. He then turns around and uses those satellites to help Russia get an edge over Ukraine, knowing what he is doing is against U.S. interest. Will he suffer any consequences for his betrayal? When I look at this, the first thing the guides say, the first words I hear is, in time. In time. We may not see it right away, but in time. Time has a way of eroding powerful people. We may not see it that moment, but eventually they either go mad, go broke, and just disappear. So maybe he'll get stuck on the moon. Who knows? Moving on. Crazy Shark 22. Hi, Arthur. Do you see Pete Buttigieg or Wes Moore ever becoming president? Well, Buttigieg, as you know, is the 19th United States Secretary of Transportation. I've read this in the past. I don't feel he's going to go for run, running for president right now. I do feel he will, whatever the administration is with Biden or the Democrats, he'll be a part of it, a big part of it. Even though our Georgia Peach is trying to impeach him as well. Who knew? Now, as far as Wes Moore, the 63rd governor of Maryland. I see him being involved in politics. I don't see him running for president. So I hope that resonates and answers the question. Peppermint Candy. I love your name. Hi, Arthur. Nothing has been mentioned in the news about George Santos for a while now. Will he ever be tried? When and outcome, please. Thanks. Okay, long story. Do you remember in the late 70s, early 80s, when you had a movie theater? And all of a sudden they became duplex. They, they put a wall up right in the middle of the theater. And so they had two screens instead of one. And then there was a time when on one side they were showing movie the towering inferno and on the other side they were showing earthquake remember where the seats would move and all that kind of stuff and it was a science fiction film because we had to believe that ava gardner was lauren green's daughter anyway we used to call that shake and bake that is what i get around jordan santos's life it's going to be one big shake and bake with him starring in Prisoners of Love at Leavenworth. Or he's going to be singing When You're Good to Mama, Mama's Good to You. Yeah, I do see musical theater around him, but behind bars. So I would say next year. You know, instead of springtime for Hitler, it's springtime for George. All right. V. Martin, will Ken Paxton, Texas AG, be impeached by the Texas state? I don't know. I get yes on it, but I don't know if that means he goes away. So we'll see. I'm not sure. If I'm not sure, I'm not going to make something up. I'm sorry, this next question reads like it was from the cover of the Weekly World News or some really bad rag. Sorry, Lady Leo. 
Hi, Arthur. Do you see anything with Ron to Satan having an underage at the time girl coming forward claiming he is her baby daddy? You know how I feel about the man. The only thing good about him is his little white boots. No, I, I, I'm not feeling it. When I asked the guides, they were like silent on it. So usually when they're silent, they don't even sing a jingle. It means a no. I don't feel it. I don't see it. If I did, I'd say so. Okay. Sorry, Lady Leo. Can't help you there. Moving on. Oh, this is a good one. Good topic. Leslie Gregory. Arthur, you rock. And here I thought it was paper or scissors. Our Temecula school board is connected with an extreme right religious group. They are destroying our city. Do you see any action to dismiss any of these board members, either by recall or the state intervening or other actions to remove them? Or do we wait out until the next election time? Now, for those of you who don't know what's going on here, just recently on Tuesday, two California school districts banned the display of LGBT flags on Tuesday. One of them was in, I'm going to read this here. One of them is Southern Ca California city of T Temecula and the other is Bay Area small town of Sinal. I don't know if I pronounced that right. They banned the flags this week. Temecula passed a resolution banning all flags except U.S. and state flags, while Sinal specifically banned the LGBTQ pride flag. The Temecula board passed its resolution by a three to two vote. The three board members who voted together all received backing from the Inland Empire family, a conservative Christian political action group committee. In recent months, they've whipped up turmoil in the district with antics, including a meeting on whether the district should hire an anti-critical race theory consultant, as well as launching a ban on discussions of California civil rights leader, Harvey Milk. <sighs> Lastly, what I see here is some petitions have to be written. There's an opportunity to get some people recalled here. Yes, this group, this religious group is very strong. But I would actually question, do they consider themselves a church? Because if they do, they need to start paying taxes. And this is where I say, people, we have to vote. And not just for the big ticket items. But for the small stuff too, who's going to be president of Rotary Club? Now, these MAGA people have been able to infiltrate school districts on this low level of school boards. That's their plan. They, they've had this on their playbook for quite some time. That's how Mothers of Liberty have been able to get in there. Mothers of Liberty, as far as I'm concerned, are just proud boys wearing skirts. Maybe there are some proud boys wearing skirts. I don't know. But they're crazies. They want to put all their religious beliefs into the public schools. The problem is it's called a public school. Yes, my parents sent me to Catholic school. They paid money for that. But these people, they want religion to be taught in school, and they don't want to pay for it. Well, it's not their right but they're making it the right by getting into school boards. So on some level, please check out your local school boards and go up the chain from there. 
Because the problem is they're dumbing down our kids. Making us believe that slavery is a, a work program. Okay? So, in all honesty, I feel some of these can be recalled. It's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of effort. But eventually, they'll get out. But it's going to take a lot of action on a lot of people's parts. Now, there was one person that said in uh, in Sanal, the parents may not know how to get people recalled, but they're willing to learn. It's all about teaching and learning with people, right? Schools. So anyway, please, I hope I'm not going on a soapbox on this, but please, please, please. Enough said. Okay, got a questions about stuff here in California. IA. Hi, Arthur. There are rumblings that an earthquake will hit California in October ish. Can you give, give us an idea of approximately where, at least southern, central, northern? It's a big state with a huge population. Some direction would be helpful. Thanks. And Katz asked the same thing. Hi, Arthur. When do you see the big earthquake in California happening? Do you feel it will happen in the north or south? First of all, sorry, it depends on what your definition of big is. Are we talking about like an earthquake in the movie 2012? Where Santa Monica is just going into the ocean? I don't see that happening. There is something about an earthquake in Northern California is how I've read it. However, I'm not sure if it's on land or if it's going to be in the ocean. Now, the plates moving under the ocean still can cause havoc on land. But as you know, I live in Los Angeles. Yes, I have an earthquake bag filled with Twinkies because I know they won't go rotten. But at the same time, I'm not here and get out unless my guides just don't like me and they're not going to tell me. But I'm not hearing anything to get out of here at this time. Well, even if I do, I'll let everyone know. Um, but no. But you have to be prepared. I mean, this is earthquake country. I mean, see this? That's bolted to the wall. Yeah, the books make him fly and hit me in the head, but still, that thing is bolted to the wall. And the last earthquake we had, I was like, do I run for the chandelier or do I run for the uh, the mirror that's on the wall? Then again, I realized I bolted the mirror to the wall as well. So, prepared. But as far as I'm not feeling like Armageddon earthquake at this time. Yes, there'll be a shaker. Yes. Will some dishes fall at Target? Yes. Will some people get rattled? Yes. But I feel it's Northern California. If you must know. So, here's another question about Southern California. Penelope. I'm wondering if we will have a harsh El Nino winter with possible flooding here in Southern California. Thank you for your help. Anytime. Um, God, I remember the El Ninos back in 1999, I think it was. It was just nonstop. But then again, it was like those atmospheric rivers we had at the beginning of the year. It was just as bad. But I'm not reading El Nino. I don't have a guy who's a weather forecaster. I'm sorry. At least they're not telling me. But I'm not feeling El Nino. I'm feeling it's, it's going to be wet and sloppy and it'll be a wet winter. But I'm not feeling house, houses are going to be sliding off cliffs and all that fun stuff. No. It reminds me of the time I had a client. Him and his wife were so proud. They were moving. And I said, don't. Don't move. This is not your time to move. And I say, yeah, but we just bought this house. We've got a great deal on it. It's in the hills, the Hollywood Hills. It's got a pool. It's got this. I said, 
I don't care what it has. I'm just telling you, now is not the time for you to move. Four months after they moved, there was a notice on the door. The house was under eviction because it's going to be de demolished because there was an earthquake and yes, it was on a slide. Not that I'm that good, but please, if your psychic tells you something, at least listen. I mean, Madame Lenamon told Bonaparte not to go to Waterloo and see how that turned out for him. Just saying. But no, I don't see like, you know, we'll go slip sliding away here in Southern California. I just get wet. Cynthia Walker. Hi, Arthur. Do you see the volcano that erupted in Hawaii on the big island erupting? What oh what do you see for the volcano that erupted in Hawaii on the Big Island? I'm sorry, I'm brain dead. Um, not much. Is little volcanoes erupt? Is this the next Mount Saint Helen? No. Is this the next Mount Vesuvius? No. It's erupting. It's always erupting. There's always lava flowing out of those volcanoes in the islands but i'm not seeing it as something that brings massive devastation and speaking of hawaii pat lee asks hey arthur oprah winfrey and the rock teamed up together to form an avenue for people to donate money to maui they're getting tons of negative backlash from ordinary people like me, who wonder why they, who are enormously wealthy, don't just give more themselves. Will this venture be successful? Will people boycott them? Is the venture they've established legit? Thank you. I'm a huge fan of yours and your humor. You may not be a fan of my humor after this. First of all, they spent millions of their own dollars to get this thing set up they sent when i looked at it, it was like between five to ten million dollars each to get this thing going they were the first responders they were paying for people to get over there so and to set up a network like this to set up the, the phone lines to set up everything for the donations that came out of their pockets it didn't come out of Give us a donation and we'll set something up. Who does that sound like? Give me your $5 from your Medicare or your Social Security and um, I can pay for my lawyer. Yes, I'm a millionaire or billionaire, but you can pay for my lawyer. Who does that sound like? That is not Oprah or The Rock. All right. I hope you still love me. But on that same note, I'm probably going to go on a soapbox on this one. Cynthia Smith commented, maybe not a question, but more an observation. All these entertainers who have plenty of resources financially, do they ever give to the less fortunate who need financial assistance, even if it's food, clothes, or a place to shelter? When will these people learn all the riches and resources cannot be taken with them when their spirit leaves their bodily vehicle. Well, Cynthia, yes, we hear about some of the greedy, selfish people with money. Most of them are, I hate to say it, I feel they're Republicans. They don't care about their fellow man. But I'm going to tell you right now, I've been in Los Angeles for about 30 years now. I have worked with celebrities. I have worked... <laughs> with people that have gazillions of dollars. I know I'm stuck doing this, but they give. They give quietly. They don't give to let people know that they're giving. They donate. Now, most of them, they have two or three charities that they focus on. That's it. 
and it's quiet because they give the one that everybody wants them to give to them. So it may look like they don't donate anywhere, but a lot of it is anonymous. A lot of it is quiet. A lot of it is taken care of. And a lot of them are there to help. You don't see it. And that's what's marvelous about some of these people with hearts. I mean, when the Los Angeles School District was losing money for music departments, Herb Alpert, from Tijuana Brass, Herb Alpert, producer of The Carpenters. He donated enough money for every kid to have music in their schools from K through 12, not just for one year, but for many, many, many years. You don't hear about that. So, yes, they do give. And if anybody wants to send me a donation, don't. My charity is Trevor Project. That's where I focus my resources when I have extra money and I give every month to them because they do a wonderful job. If you don't know who Trevor Project is, it's a lifeline for kids that are about to commit suicide to the LGBTQ. And did you know that 60% of attempted suicides in youth are due to LGBT reasons? So, and there are states where for years, Trevor Project was listed as a suicide prevention hotline on state websites. In many states, that has now been removed. So, if you want to give money to me, don't. Please, Trevor Project. Okay? I'm getting off my soapbox. Now I'm shorter. <laughs> Jilly, is it a hoax in Mexico where they uncovered aliens? And Mary asked the same question. Will the Martian revealing... Will the Mexican revealing alien bodies that do not match humans' DNA get a chance, get a change in the view of the aliens? A real debate. I saw them. Those little, little, like, coffin things. They said they were, like, a thousand years old or so. The first thing that came to mind was, do you remember years ago, when Fox aired Alien Autopsy. There's a lot of rumor that that was fake. I don't know. I really don't know. If you're watching this channel, and we're all like-minded, you know we're not alone. Hell, I've talked about my encounter with the UFO with Linda. So, we're not alone. But were these beings there a thousand years ago? Time will tell. That's all the guides are giving me. I'm sure there are other people that talk to the ETs and, and have more information than I do. All I'm saying is we're not alone. Period. Okay. Some questions about LH. What What's happening with Smartmatic's lawsuit against Fox News? Will they get over $2 billion judgment in their seeking, that they're seeking? Well, they're going to win. I don't think you need to be a psychic to know that one. So, you know, just how much do you want them to check? Is that enough to make them change their evil ways? No. No. If it were, then some half the shows that they have on would not be there. And using the mouthpieces that they do for certain candidates. That's all we're going to talk about. Fox Corp and its 
board are being sued by New York City Pension Fund, pension fund over claims the company neglected its duty to shareholders by broadcasting lies, thus opening itself to defamation lawsuits. What will be the outcome? A, they lose. B, they lose. C, both of the above. Okay? Don't ask me when. Don't ask me when that's coming down. I just know, you know. They think they're sly like a fox. No. No. Now, I got two interesting questions about Poland, actually. My grandmother's stomping ground. Irina Maria Mangalo. Hi, Arthur. Do you see the present government in Poland, hard, lose at long last their grip on Poland? Yes. Not now. What I kept on getting was two years. Sorry, but it does happen. It's going to be gradual, but I do feel the people start standing up to it. They don't like it. And then T. Lynn commented, a new Poland law states that candidates who had outside foreign campaign influence in getting elected will be banned from ever holding office. Will the U.S. ever adopt a similar law? It tried. But thanks to all the dark money, nobody knows where it's really coming from. But I do feel there's going to be reform. It's not right now. It's going to take about four or five years. I wish it was sooner. I wish I was wrong about this. But I do get four to five years that things are going to change. Citizen United will go down in flames. At least that's the way I see it. Okay? <sighs> I hope you had a good time. I'm fried. I really am. But listen, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sharing your night with me. Thanks for taking time with me. I hope you laughed, giggled, maybe learned something new, yelled at me because I did, you didn't like what I said, but sorry. I'm just saying the way I see it. If I don't see it, I don't say it. Anyway, listen, we're all in this together. We're all going to get through this together. So take care of yourselves. Take care of others. Have fun. And as always, stay amazing. All right? Night.